People with these 10 skills are almost guaranteed to be successful. Yo, two guys, and it's Rainus here, and today uh, I want to tell you uh, the, the best habits and the best, like, characteristics and skills of, of successful people. What do they do, what they have, and it's not going to be the cliche thing, oh, hard work, stuff like that. Hard work is a part of that, but it's not the main thing. And actually, I wanted to go on, on a quick minute rant here, because, guys, don't just focus on hard work, that's just fucking stupid. Imagine, imagine you're a basketball player, right? Imagine you're a basketball player. And if you're just focusing on hard work, you're just focusing on, on just purely how to shoot threes. You can shoot threes really well, but you cannot do anything else. You cannot dribble, you cannot defend, you cannot do this, do that, do that. Okay, you might be a great three-point shooter, but nobody's going to want to have a one-dimensional player. The same goes in business. You need to have a variety of skills in order to become successful. With having just one skill, you'll be a great role player. And in the business world, we would be a, um, a, a great worker. And a great worker that can't even get to the manager, manager level. So guys, keep this in mind. I have my little notes here, so I'm going to be looking into them from time to time. Uh, shit's important. I don't want to miss out on anything. But yeah, guys, I want you right now to take, take out a piece of paper, take out a piece of paper and a pen, or just open a Word file, whichever you prefer. And I want you to start writing down these skills and rate yourself from one to 10, from one to 10. If you hit each one of them at the level from seven to 10, that's gonna be nice. I mean, of course, Remember, you can always improve the skills, so if you see that something's neglected or something's not as good as you want it to be, improve that bitch. Number one, uh, I'm going to start with the cliche part. It's going to be hard work. From one to, one, to five, one to five rate, how hard can you work? How hard can you work? When you, when you do something, how well do you do it, right? Um, how hard you're working? If you're working on a new project, are you gaining more knowledge about that? How like many hours are you putting in physically? What are you exactly doing to, to, to make it as successful as it can be? And yeah, that's basically hard work. And I would say it's like 20% of the equation, 20%. It's not even 50%, 20%. You, can, you cannot be working, you can be like, you can be super accurate and have different skills I'm gonna be talking about later on. And you can, uh, you can be like, it can be not as hard working, but still become successful because in other areas, you're going to be get great. Okay, well, editing this video, <clears throat> I thought about something I didn't mention. If hard work was the only thing you needed for success, then the construction workers would be the like richest people on earth because they work the hardest. They don't work as much as the CEOs do because I'm going to tell you a secret. The CEOs of top big companies, they probably don't work at all, right? They have systems in place, they have automation in place, they have employees, they have, you know, t technology and everything work for them. They don't really work at this point, they just look for investments and, and places to put their money so they can get even more money back. So yeah, that's that, let's continue with the video. Okay, so among hard work, a thing you need is speed. You need to be moving quickly. You need to be gaining knowledge quickly and as effectively as you can. This is why with speed, there comes accuracy. Accuracy, how precisely do you do it? How precisely can you do the job that's, that's meant for you? How precisely can you do, you know, something from janit like cleaning up to like fucking doing uh, big stuff, like, you know, building systems, everything. Because with all the little mistakes, they're gonna compound over time and it's gonna be a big pain for you, so accuracy is pretty important. The same as goes in these videos. You can see when I slack and when I do, you guys don't like that. And I know that you don't like that. Sometimes I want, you know, to, uh, you know, I'm giving you my time, so it just depends on me. If I can give you time, then I'm gonna slack. If I can give you time, I'm not gonna slack. If I don't, I'm gonna slack. I want you to be as accurate as possible. And going back to the speed, 
Like, look at my channel. I'm uploading daily. And when I'm not, it's tactical. When I'm not, I'm not uploading daily, it's tactical. When you have a piece of content, edit it as soon as possible and as accurately as you can and put that bitch out. Be as fast as possible. If you create seven pictures for Instagram, post one picture today, actually not post two pictures today and create seven more. So you can, so you have two pictures a day. You know, do everything in your niche that you need to do as fast as and as precisely as possible. You know, find a balance between the two. Then with accuracy, precision, um, a thing that goes into there is double checking. Because a lot of times you miss something at the first time. So when you're double checking, I want you to do this thing. So when you write an essay and you read through that, you're reading what you want your mind to read, right? So if you're writing an essay, a sales copy, a big chunk of text, I want you to switch up the, the ways how you're reading it. One way could be starting from the bottom and reading one, you know, one line from bottom up. So it's in reverse order. And when you do that, your brain is confused. So you're just looking at the, at the, um, at the sentence right in the text. You're not reading through how you wrote it because that way your brain is going to autocorrect and you're going to miss pretty much every mistake. That's, that's, that's the biggest problem of mine. So yeah, you have to find great, you have to find different ways to look at things so your brain's confusion and it takes it as a novel, novel information. So for example, in editing videos, you start from a last clip, you look at the last clip, then you hop on the previous click, previous, previous, so you go from back to the start. So you see all the, all the things you, you need to improve, the imperfections, stuff like that. The same goes for sales copies, um, email lists, um, mailing lists, emails, uh, your your ebook stuff like that everything, right? Um, I want you to have thick skin. Write down thick skin as well. When somebody tells you the truth, do you get upset or do you listen to that and and be like, oh yeah, okay, so I'm a fucking pussy. Okay, yeah, get that. I'm I'm not accurate enough. I'm slow as fuck. Okay, yeah. What can I do about this? I want you to have this mentality. I don't want you to have, fuck you. I'm not slow, I'm not this, I'm not that. You can have that when, you, when you're self-conscious, right? This is a kind of iffy, iffy subject. But most of the time, you need to listen to what other people are saying. You, you just need to listen. Um, you don't need to like, use, their, uh, use their, their advice and everything they tell you 100%, but you just need to listen because everything they say, there's some kind of truth in there and you need to find that truth. If they say that you, like for example, you, you guys, you can say that I'm talking too slow, my accent is not that, your accent is horrible. And yeah, I need to take that as a path where I can improve, not as a path, oh fuck you, you need to understand what I'm saying. That's my problem that you don't understand. That's not your problem, that's my problem. I need to work on my, my, my way of speech, I need to be saying less so and um, because I know that shit's annoying. And yeah. Then, uh, yeah, with that as well, you need to have the skill of, you need to have a skill of taking responsibility. This goes along with uh, having thick skin. When something goes wrong and you're responsible for that, and if you're in a team and you know you could have done something for that, take responsibility. Take responsibility. Because there's always you could have done, like, something. Yeah, it's just, you're just, you're just humble. You're just humble. I mean, you have, you have to be tactical about this as well. Because as in everything... Yeah, you, you can be the uh, escape goals everywhere. Um, yeah, then intuition. Intuition is actually built by experience. So this, this is a skill that comes with experience. This is why when you want to go into somewhere, you need to start doing it as soon as possible. You need to start doing it as soon as possible. And this is why intuition is pretty important because, yeah, it's... Yo, it, it just, it just, it just comes with, it just comes with experience. And this is what I want you to have. So, um, yeah, right now I want you to rate everything from one to 10. And if your score comes out more than, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you. And if your score comes out more than 75% of the maximum score, you guys are probably going to be successful, right? And now with the experience, like with the knowledge you have, I want you to use that. See what you're not good at or see what, where you have to improve in these skills 
and think about it. Think about why you're not at the place you want to be. Think about how can you improve that. Think about what can you do right now to improve that. Think about that. Be, sit down, take a piece of paper and write down how can you improve that. Like, okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna give you a structure. I'm gonna give you the skill. Then you write down, what can I improve here? Why am I like this? <laughs> and, and then, yeah, write that down and answer those questions. Answer them precisely. And I want you to save that paper. Save it, print it somewhere, save it in the map. And I want you to, to rate yourself every month, every month for this year. Every month for this year. And at the end of the year, go back, take your notes out and look at them. When you've done that, you'll, you'll see how, you, how you've improved or if you, if you haven't improved